Now, okay. Now we're going to we're going to get into the meat of the show. So Yeah, like I said last week uh you know, on Monday I did the live stream and on Tuesday I did my updates and stuff and uh weather and family stuff come up. I finally got out on the water on Saturday and was checking everything out. And one of the things that I noticed was immediately I started uh, putting in my normal settings. And I, I was a little confused. I was like, man, what's going on here? So I rechecked them, rechecked them, and rechecked them. Um, so I want to share this video with you guys. And this is after... Uh, not only I left the water, but I went back out yesterday and worked on it for three or four hours. And I shot this video yesterday, right when. Uh... All right, here's an update. Uh, right. Of course, I'm out here on the lake. I've been out here for a few hours doing nothing but dialing in. I just now grabbed a rod. Uh, what I did is, of course, I've installed all the Solix updates. I installed the Mega Live update and then the Target Lock update. When I got out here the other day, my Mega Live looked terrible. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like that. I've been through all the filters. Uh, with the new update, the only filter that doesn't get noise when you hit the trolling motor pedal is number one on the 360 all the other filters as soon as you hit the trolling motor pedal it, it leaves the interference marks but up here these little rings this cross talk or whatever you want to call it it's coming from the 360 and the transducer on the front and i'm going to show you so let's go to home I'm gonna do it on this unit so you can watch up here. Settings, chirp sonar. Let's bring it back up to the top. All right, sonar source. Okay, you can see I got, uh, let's go up to 2D sonar. The only, uh, I do have 2D here, so I'm going to turn it off. See, transducer disabled. But look, it's not the 2D. So while we're at it, let's go to 360. Turn off the 360. Boom. And it clears up. It's the 360 that the Mega Live is picking up, calling all that noise. I did not have that before, before I did the new updates. Uh, did not have that, but now I do. So now I gotta make a decision. Do I wanna keep my Mega Live? with target lock or do I want to take my 360 off my boat until somebody can come up with a fix? Because right now I cannot use both, okay? My down imaging, I'm gonna turn it back on. Local transducer enabled. And see, got a little bit of rings with the 2D. But I gotta have 2D, I gotta know how deep it is. Go to my 360, let me turn that back on. And get out of here. And you can see we got all this nasty noise, this crosstalk that somebody has got to figure out at Hummingbird. Engineers, y'all need to do something, man, because when all this stuff is hooked into the e Ethernet, it's got to get fixed. And before you guys ask, yes, I run clean, dedicated power. 
there it is right there that's eight gauge wiring coming from my battery my second battery back there and 10 gauge wiring going to all my units with the appropriate size fuses from the hummingbird web page so and i do have the choke on the battery charger cable so i have done everything that you're supposed to do but somehow with this new update i've got all this noise now i want to i want to say something good about the update it's so much easier to track your bait i want to see if i can do this with one hand i got a little 3 8 ounce jig on here let me see if i can do this it's about a 50 foot cast look you can see it falling You can see it jigging on the bottom. So the track and bait is pretty dadgum good with the new update. A lot better than the previous one. But am I willing to sacrifice all this dadgum clutter on the screen? You know, everybody who'd watched my videos knows that I had one of the clearest pictures on Mega Live. Well, not anymore. It's full of noise and crosstalk and all this other interference from my 360 and 2D. And the only way to get it to go away is to turn off both 360 and 2D on the whole boat. If I, if I turn it off, you know, for the console unit and I turn off the 360 and turn it off up here, it goes away. So, what's going on, Hummingbird? Need a fix for this. And, yeah. So, I wanted to share that video with you guys that's unscripted, unedited, you know, raw. And I want to answer a few questions as people have popped in. And while, while I'm going through the chat, guys... Here's the things that I have noticed, and I noticed this from my dialed in Hummingbird dialed in Facebook group. Uh, I put a little clip it of that last week, and people have chimed in. And here is the trend. And if you're out there watching and you have the following equipment, I bet you have issues as well. The first thing is multiple Solix units that did the Solix update. That is criteria number one. Number two, the ethernet switch port, you know, where it has the five plugins. That's requirement number two. Requirement number three was you have a Mega 360 that is hooked to one of your graphs on the bow. And the other criteria was you have some sort of 2D imaging connected to one of your Solix units. That has been the common denominator from all of the searching that I've done on all the Facebook pages. And what I have noticed, there are a few guys that are running Helix that the Mega Live update and the Helix update improve their view. And that is outstanding. I'm I'm totally happy for you guys. But if you guys have watched my videos in the past, I had one of the best dialed in mega lives in the United States. I had one of the best. I mean, I did videos on them. I've got thousands of views on them. And this update, which I did correctly, it was easy to do. All you had to do was follow the instructions. And what I noticed is the common denominator was if you ran Solixes, you know, obviously Gen 2 or Gen 3, you had a Mega 360, you use 2D somewhere on your boat, whether it's shoot through haul or built in on your trolling motor, and all of that being networked together. That is the common denominator.
I have not documented, but I have a list of guys that that is all the criteria that they have. And right now I'm at seven or eight. So what I want you guys to do is if you meet those criteria on this video, watching this video, and you're having issues with your mega live, please leave me a comment. Hey, put on their big gym. I have this, this, and this, and I have issues. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back after this video has been up for a week or so. After tonight, you know, tomorrow it'll be on my regular video channel. People will be able to view it that are not live right now. I'm going to go through and compile that data, and I'm going to get that data, and I'm going to report it up my chain of command, if you will, with Hummingbird so that there's multiple angles uh, getting to the Hummingbird engineers to know that this is not just a one-off, that it is a trend with Solix users right now. So if you would, you know, like I said, please leave a comment. If you're a Solix user, if you're, if you did the update and you got the, uh, what, what has been called a, a good buddy of mine named Jay Venata. He's on the Duncan Lewis. He's a big guru with Hummingbird and he called it crosstalk. And yes, it's crosstalk. It, it has something to do with the networking, the networking, uh, with the switch. So, I need you guys to, re, you know, report in on a comment here that, hey, yeah, I meet that criteria and I'm having an issue so I can compile the data and get it to Hummingbird. And since the update, uh, you know, I, ha I had set up a series of videos called Mega Live Structure Series that I was going to be starting on March 1st, where we were going to show you how to, you know, dial in your Mega Live for different types of uh, structure and cover. And I, right now I can't do that series because my Mega Live is not the quality it needs to be to be able to show you guys online and to teach you how to make it better. Because until this update is fixed, there's a patch or another update. Um, I don't feel good about showing it online on teaching videos. Um, I just don't. It, it's kind of crushed that whole series of videos. Uh, somebody here says, do I have the choke from the charger installed? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, the charge lead that goes to the battery that runs my electronics, I do have the choke on there. Uh, let's see. Mike Kennedy says, I even tried to move my 360 up higher from the life. I tried that as well. It didn't make any difference at all. Um, yellow bait company. I hope hummingbirds watching this. Uh, I do too. Um, you know, everybody knows I am a big hummingbird fan. I mean, you know, look right there. There's my hummingbird hat. Uh, I, I am a hummingbird fan and I love the products. I love the detail. Uh, and I'm not mad at hummingbird by any means. It's just, this is an issue that I think might have got missed or maybe it didn't get tested right. Maybe they were trying to push something out really quick and it didn't get fully tested, but you know, it's okay. I think they're going to get a fix. We just got to bring it to their attention. And you know, that's what I'm doing. All right. Vernon Neal says, did you try adjusting the interference rejection setting? I was hoping somebody would ask this question. Uh, cause I'm going to show you this. Okay. Here's the mega live, uh, operations manual. Let me pull this down. Uh, I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Uh, the operations manual tells you exactly how to adjust the interference rejection and yeah, Vernon, you know, I did all that. Um, even on settings I went through and there's six, different interference uh, filters and used to three of them would work, but now only one of them will work on my 360. Okay. It, you can see on here um, on the 360 screen, 
which is at the bottom right, um, whenever the line is moving, you know, going across your screen like that, if you don't have the right filter settings, whenever you step on your trolling motor, it'll just blow it out. It'll just be real bright. And used to, on the filter settings, um, three of them would take care of it. And out of the three of them, I would narrow down which one was best for the Mega Live. Well, now with the new update, only one of them removes the noise from my 360. Mike Kennedy says, same problem. Two Solix 15s and a 10, all Gen 3. So, yeah, there's another guy that has, let's see here. We got Mark says, I got the new updates. I'm running two switches. I run three Solix, one Apex, Target Lock, Mega Life, 360, same issue. I've done all the updates, but I'm using Helix units. I've noticed my live is better. Maybe it's Solix thing. Yeah, Jason, uh, that's, that's what we're thinking right here. Yep, like I said, a Apex and Solix are running the same type of system. So, yeah, it uh, now it looks like yours. Yep, Sly Dog, I'm telling you, I, I think it's uh, – after the updates, Mega Live sign image not working. I called Hummingbird. They're not helping out. They said it's my hardware. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. And Mike says the same issues. Three Solixes. Definitely expected more. It's beyond frustrating. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Oh, here's a great question. Clay, great question. Is it possible to go back to the late last version? No. You can't. Uh, I look. I looked that up. You can't do it. Oh, well, here's a great question, Mark. Did anybody reset their unit to factory default after the update? Okay, let me tell you my story. I did my update, and then me and my brother-in-law Steve went out on the water, and it was trash. You know, I I was even having issues with my graphs reading my maps. So when I went back out yesterday, I reset all three of my units to factory default. I reset all three units and I rebuilt the network, redid all of my settings and options and overlays. It took me about three hours. And I played around with Mega Live and all of the different settings and filters. And I went through everything, y'all. I'm talking three hours of me kneeling on the front deck, looking at my two graphs on the front, trying to get them dialed in. And yes, you know, we did reset, set them to a factory and it, it still didn't help me help mine. Andrew says, I got the same thing on my Solix system. It's a pretty good update. Just the noise. And uh, let's see the 1.20 upgrade put a lot of interference on my Solix. Wish I would have stayed. Gregory says, did you try putting one of the units on standby mode? Yes, sir, I did. Uh, a good friend of mine, J.E., said, hey, put your console unit in standby. I, I did that before I did the restore. Uh, did not work. Deshaun Peck in the house. Hey, Deshaun, man, thanks for turning in. Uh, I recommend sending a clip of this video to Hummingbird. That will help expedite the issue.